Jack of all trades, welcome to the vlog. And today, and today I'm picking up an old friend, right? He's one of my old buddies, and we're doing a food vlog. And I was gonna do this vlog with Lenny, and we we're gonna go get these things called quesabirria tacos, right? And quesabirria tacos are like fun, are fun. They're trending. They're super delicious, and they're like a beef. They're like a stewed beef, but the beef is taken out, put into a taco with cheese. And then you get served it with a cup of its own stock. And then, you know, you dip it into the, the taco, into the stock and eat it. Right. But Kenny, I'm um, Kenny, Lenny, Lenny's Hispanic, right? He's had tacos. He's had, he's probably had those kind of tacos. So I thought it would be a better experience to get somebody who's never had that type of taco. And that's why I ended up picking my buddy. I'm going to get him now. And here he is. There he no. is. <laughs> That's him. But when I would make a vlog with Mena, oh hell. When I would make a vlog with Mena, I'd be like, Mena, can you speak up, bro? Because like, when I edit these videos, your volume isn't very loud. And he was like, oh, well, it won't be natural. It won't be natural if I talk if I louder. Yell. I'm like, bro, I can't hear you and it's not funny. Anyway, so this is my buddy Pope that I came to get to try these tacos. Have you ever had quesabirria, quesabirria tacos? Never. I'm gonna record you. I'm his old uh, boxing coach. Yeah. You taught him everything you knew. Taught me how to know. I had to fight that boy. What was that boy's name? Uh. Nathan. Rambo. Nathan Kid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Nathan. Nathan Rambo Kid. <laughs> Nathan the Rambo Kid. Let me see where I can set this up. Set this up right here. Hopefully. I'll just lower myself. Just not look big as fuck. <laughs> Pretend not to be big as fuck. Anyway, Pope, so Pope's never had quesabirria tacos. And now he's gonna have some right now. So Oh, speaking of Pope, um my buddy, the Georgia Peach. <laughs> the Georgia Peach himself, and they call him that because he's from Georgia and he has a fat ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know no. how I be. Yeah, bro. That. Anyway, <laughs> I know how you be, boy. <laughs> oh, I watched him grow into. Uh, I watched him grow from an honest, humble boy to an honorable man. Pretty much. You're a good dude, man. And that's why I invited you on the vlog. Thanks. So I figured you never had these these kind of tacos because of where you're from, from Georgia. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's. Yeah, yeah. Let's open it up, bro. Right, what restaurant are they from? Um, some spot. Out. Yeah, some spot right here. Uh, I think it's called like Birria. Birria. No, no, no. <laughs> it's called like Birria Padrinos right here on Mission Avenue in Oceanside. Yeah. They hooked us up with some some tacos. Not free though. Just not yeah, spot. nah, they ain't sponsor me. Yeah, but check them out if you like. <laughs> So it's like a street taco. Well, define street taco. Like, yeah, they can say like the n-word. <laughs> Is that what you mean? This is by street. <laughs> they can like say out the loud? N yeah, out loud. Oh, okay. Certified. Oh, okay. Like me. You can say it. Yes, nigga. Oh, okay. Can I say it? No, no. no. Oh, okay. All right. So that's um. The, so the meat in the taco was like cooked in a in a stock, right, in a stew. So they put the meat in the taco, and then that's a cup of the stew that the meat was cooked yeah. in. All right, so when you eat your taco, it's, it's common to like dip it into the stew mm. and then take a bite of the taco. So it's like a, a pot roast taco. Exactly. Hmm. Tortillas are soaked. They were soaked in the that same stock. Oh. So they were soaked, and then they were you know heated up and cooked on the, on the flat top. Yeah. So that, that the orange coloredness. Mm -hmm. Just from that. Ooh. Mm. That's pretty good. What do you think? Like, what can you see? Uh, Cause I remember one time I had a really good taco in San Diego, and I swear I could see a little bit more colors. Like uh, the colors that I see now, like the cones in my eyes picked up more colors after that bite. No, but <laughs> it makes me feel like you know, like like dancing or something. <laughs> 
like to Spanish music. Yeah. To cumbia music. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Kind of speechless. Mm. It's a good little setup, man. Ooh. Oh, you know those three tacos that and that juice. <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me the price, like you. Um... No, no, you don't know. It. No, it's on me. It's on me. But I'm saying, like, that's a good little meal, right? Like, yeah, three, three good little tacos. It's like five bucks. Which is not bad. Pretty good, good right? yeah. Good. So meat was made in like a pot roast type thing, but it was when it was made, when the cheese was melted and all that, mm -hmm. it was on a flat top. Mm. Oh, and here's some sauces. Green salsa. Okay. One of them is not spicy. One of them is very spicy, but I don't remember which one the girl told me was was which. <laughs> we gonna find out. Send it, bro. And then we got this yellow drink. Oh, you haven't tried that yellow drink? Uh. -uh. What is it? Take a sip of it. Take a okay. Sip. You tell me. It's like a, like a Fanta. Okay, no. <laughs> it's natural juice. Ooh. What is it though? What flavor is it? It's a fruit. Banana. No, oh, no. <laughs> Pineapple. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> Pineapple's a root. <laughs> I mean, a banana's a root. That's pineapple juice? Yeah. Pineapple dude. Oh, nice. Pineapple deuce juice. <laughs> Man. Mmm. I remember the first time I met Emilio. It was me. We were waiting in line. I hope this is a good story. <laughs> to get issued uh, gear for Bridgeport. And uh, Ranta was standing in front of me. And then you were standing in front of him. And he turned around and like, looked at me. And then a du double take. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, I thought you were Ranta. You, Ranta, you think you could take him? <laughs> Ranta went, yeah. <laughs> I've been in the, the fleet like a week. Oh man. I I don't know why, but I never remember the things I do. So when people tell me the stories and they're hilarious, I'm like, bro, there's no way. There's no way I'm that funny. Bro, but you know what I was thinking about since um like I'm at, I'm out of the Marine Corps. Mm hmm Like I'll never have best job ever, honestly. Yeah. Right, yeah, I miss it. I miss it every day. But the things that I miss <clears throat> are the people. Like two hour childs, bro. Like when, when I go to work and they're like, "Yeah, you got 30 minutes to eat lunch," I'm like, "That ain't gonna work, chief." <laughs> I need a nap. I need a nap, out. possibly a workout. <laughs> Lord knows I ain't gonna be working out. <laughs> but anyway, whenever we get a new guy, like Pope, I might have said this to Pope, and I was like, "I'd be like, oh, what's up, man? Where you from?" I was never mean to anybody. If anything, I was like pretty nice, joke around. I was kind of mean in the way I talk, but friendly. I like think. a rough father figure. No. Older brother. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say older brother, right? Yeah. So when a, when we would get a new guy, I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, man? I'm Alvarado, whatever. Where you from?" And they'd be like, "Oh, say Pope, right? I'm from Georgia." Okay, cool, cool. And I look away. Circumcised? Huh? And they'd be like, <laughs> and it was to everybody. I'd be like, "Yo, what's up, kid? Where you from? Oh, Georgia. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Circumcised? Huh?" Are you circumcised? <laughs> I'd be like, and no matter what they say, I'd be like, mm, good, good, all right, cool, cool. And then just like, <clears throat> it's just like a funny way to break the ice. And I could never say that again. Like when I get a real job, I can't be asking people if they're circumcised. <laughs> oh man, I miss those. Yeah. You... Miss those days. Yeah. Where are you working at now? I don't work. I work at the YouTube headquarters. <laughs> oh shit. Let me get these air fresheners out here because there ain't no free sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I gotta be more like careful because um, I've had a couple couple of copyright like for songs that were playing in the background that I didn't even know about. Really? Yeah. This is pretty stupid. Yeah. Did you try a sauce? Did you want this? One? No, one of these. No, no. This one isn't that spicy. The light green one. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Not a big sauce guy. Not unless it's Southwest Chipotle. That's a mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, 
That's probably one of the whitest sauces I've heard. <laughs> I'm a pretty white guy. I'm a pretty white guy, man. Bro, that's that's one of our docs.com. Where is he? That little burgundy booty right there? <laughs> oh, yeah. He Filipino, ain't he? Mm-hmm. I cut my hand one time, and I was like, hey, like, do you think I need stitches? It was, like, pretty deep. He was like, ah, uh. <laughs> So I just, I just took his medical supplies and fixed it up. Bro, look. Don't watch this video, Con. I like you. It's just. You can say anything here, right? This is a free space. Yeah, safe space. Let me tell you something about a doc, right? All right let me tell you about this one field up I was on. Pretty rough. It was a pretty rough hour and a half. It was a rough morning. Like, I was a driver. Me and Mena were drivers, right? And we were out here in the dig pit. That's where we, the op was going to be at. Mm -hmm. And me and Mena are waiting for our trip tickets because we were Humvee drivers. And we were waiting in the office. Sergeant Krieger, at, Sergeant at the time, comes in there. You know Sergeant Krieger, right? Hard mm -hmm. ass. He comes in there and chews our ass. And he's like, oh, you want to you wanna be sitting around while the platoon's working? This and that, blah, blah, blah. You want to make comfort-based decisions. Ooh. That means, like, you do things that are easy, be, you know what I mean? Because they're comfortable. Because you're comfortable. You know, you want to do make easy decisions. And he fucking, he like, he's like, get out there and help the calm guy set up on the roof. And we go out, we, we have to climb the ladder, and we're in flag. We have rifles on our back. And he's, like, hurrying up this, like, little metal ladder in some small, narrow hallway. And the calm guys are setting up an antenna on the roof. And me and Mena run up there. And, um, like, for whatever reason, the the, the roof has a, a door like this, like a, that, a hatch that opens up. Mm -hmm. And while I'm climbing up, my rifle hits the back of the hatch, and it comes down and chops me. It chops me in the back of the, of the head. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And I just keep on going, whatever. I'm getting yelled at. I'm running, doing my thing. And then the same thing happens to the comm guy. Like, we have to pass up, like, sandbags and big rocks so they can secure their antenna and their wire. Mm -hmm. And Mena hands up. He's on the ladder. Hands up a big rock to the comm guy. The comm guy grabs it. He kind of lets go a little bit. The rock crushes Mena's hands. Ugh. Crush. And he goes, ah. Hits the back of the latch. Sound effect. Latch comes, latch comes down. On the calm guy who was who dropped the rock, the, the the thing comes down like this, boom, and chops him, bro. And he just like he's like bleeding out the back of his head. He gets off the op. I'm like, fuck, bro. I wish that would have happened to me. I wish I could get off the op. And then we hightail it up to the to the hills, right? We're in the we're in the dig pit. We're in the grass. We're in a fighting position, and we're like in a fighting position for like 30 minutes. And I feel like like I feel like throwing up. Like what's wrong with me? Like, I feel like throwing up. And then I look, and I had like three huge spider bites. Just three huge spider bites and i'm like oh fuck and my head is like bleeding a little bit from earlier i got three spider bites and i'm like man i gotta tell doc and i tell doc i'm like doc look i got bit i have three spider bites and he's like what do you feel and i'm like i feel like my body's shaking i feel like i'm cold and i feel like throwing up nobody likes me nobody likes me i'm having a rough morning <laughs> didn't have any coffee no but i'm like yeah man i feel like throwing up i got cold sweats this and that and he's like, look, man, I think he touched his chin. He was like, I don't got anything for that. <laughs> he's like, I don't got anything for that. Just go back to your fighting hole. Mm -hmm. And I had to go back to my little bush, like my little spot. And I was just, just had to tough it out. I don't know. And that was like, Doc's kind of, I'm not going to say Doc's are useless, right? But he ain't never helped me. <laughs> That's a true story. So feel however you feel about it. So shout out to the docs. Docs, yeah. They can really improve the morale of the group. What was that one doc at the border with the hand tattoos? Not Nelson, was it? Mm. Martin. Doc yeah, Martin. Doc Martin. Rule of thumb I go by, never trust a doc unless he has tattoos. Yeah, that's true. I hate that. What? Hey, Marine. Oh, bro. You got any napkins? Let me just check the screen real quick. <laughs> I think I had a nap. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. What'd you think of the tacos, man? That was really good, dude. Thanks. I offered I offered some to Tran, but... He, he's more shocked. This is my last one, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Ugh. So what do you have this gear inspection for? We're going on this uh, field up with the Navy. 
and uh, it's like 20 something days and uh, I just got back from leave and so, where's this up where y'all going everybody's going to different spots some people are going to San Clemente Island some people are going up north to an Air Force base for like some demo and airfield stuff and then somebody else is going somewhere for construction and are y'all gonna rotate or not we might they don't really know much so that's cool I hate that when they don't know anything let me get your bag, your box. I'll just throw it in my kid's chair. <laughs> Make him slide in there easier. <laughs> in case he's hungry later. <laughs> so what did you think of those tacos, bro? Bro, who's this little... Oh, never mind. Buzz Oliva's right there. That yeah, is. Bro, is that Steven Alfonso from Twitch? Bro, I see that dude on Twitch. Bro, I've seen you on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, you're not gonna believe you're not gonna believe who we just ran into. A famous streamer from Twitch. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How you doing, dude? I'm making a vlog. Doing here? We just ate some tacos. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you're looking good. That's not true. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> Alright, man, see ya. Yeah, he has a Twitch channel. I'll follow every once in a while. Back to the non-famous guy. <laughs> yeah, back to Pope. <laughs> I have like 400 followers, so. You know what? My YouTube doesn't have a lot of subscribers. You know, it's kind of just like my friends who watch it, which is fine. But like my podcast is hella trending in Canada. Really? Oh. Uh. It's so cold up there, they ain't got nothing to do. Or like, I think maybe they, they talk different and they like the way I talk. So they like, you know what I mean? Maybe. There's a lot going on. Huh? There's a lot going on. When today here? Mm hmm. It's Friday, bro. About to get off. Y'all get off we're, early or what? We're supposed to get off at 1300, but you know how it goes. You, oh. really, you really miss, miss the Marine Corps? I did, man. The first couple months I was out, I was missing everybody. Yeah. And then now I'm just at home, man. I'm just at home. And every day I'm like, oh, man, I should get a job because I'm just doing full time school. Mm hmm. So I'm like, oh man, I gotta get a job. I feel like I'm not doing anything. <sighs> yeah, I missed it. Not anymore though. I'm over it. <laughs> I mean, I think about it sometimes and I'm like, damn, I did have some good times, but I think if I come back, it wouldn't be the same. No, it wouldn't. It wasn't even the same after we came back from deployment. Yeah. <laughs> I got a PT Bro, story. Look at this big ass plane right here. Like a C-17 or something. That shit just chilling, bro. It should coming towards us. I think I got a kill streak. That's sweet. Yes, dude. So, so you know Merrill, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to hear this. Okay. I got two PT stories. Let's hear them. So, the first one, um, uh, <laughs> the first one was. We, uh, we were doing a quick run up to the gas chamber back through the Juliet area yeah. with our new LT. We got a new lieutenant in charge yeah. of our uh, company. And um, we're running in green on green, and Merrill's just like hard charger, but he's super goofy. <laughs> super goofy. Yeah, yeah. And so we're, we're running up, and we get up we get up to the top, and everybody's in a cool-down circle, and all the people who are falling out, like, catch up. And es Espy comes up, and he's like, hey, you mind if What I is Espy right there? Yeah, he was, he was like, you mind if I go pee, pee in the bushes or whatever? I was like, yeah. And then I see, like, Meryl, like, uh, start to say something like, <laughs> to one of us, like, but then, like, just walks away because he's scared. And then he just, like, keeps going in the circle. And then he was like, SB, <laughs> do you have any napkins? <laughs> and we're on green on green, like, we don't have any pockets or anything. Yeah. And uh, SB was like, no. <laughs> and so Meryl was like stutter stepped into the woods a little bit and then came back and was like I knew he had to poop I just wanted him to ask yeah and uh, so then he didn't say anything and we started to run back and he was I was I was hanging back with one guy who was falling out and he was he was up ahead with another corporal and I just see him dart off into the woods up into these bushes me and this guy come running by, and he's just squatted down, underwear around his knees. Oh, just where at in the in the area, like in the bushes? Yeah, or, oh, just like off the side of the trail. <laughs> yeah, like open sight right there, and uh, 
<laughs> and then we, uh, we, we, uh, we he's, he links back up with us at another cool down spot. And he comes walking up, and I'm like, you get everything figured out? And he was like, yes, yes, Corporal, I have managed to floss with one of these. And grabs a piece of, like, brush that yeah. would rake your asshole raw. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Like his tram. Oh, shit. tram to Marsock, man. Mr. Nobody. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, that's a handicap. That's <laughs> you. Where'd y'all go? I mean, where we go? We've been here this whole time. <laughs> yeah, have y'all not left? No. <laughs> Since y'all were right here? Yeah. Yeah. Why? We just ate right now. I'm about to we're... drop him back off at his house. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, my house. All right, man. See you. No, I'm just kidding. Where? What about you? Where are you going? Ciao. Hell yeah. Okay. Log in the dry chicken. Dude, Gunny, have you had a duty brief with Gunny? Oh, Lawson? yeah. This man wants me to fucking put, like, the quality of the fucking meat and like the whether or not the rice is dry or, or if the like workers the are nice. of the fucking chow hall if the workers are Bro, nice is that, is that if Meryl the line right takes too long that's not Meryl right no, no. the Machado you know it was Meryl because you'd be coughing right now <laughs> oh dude that's another part of the story you got any funny Meryl stories I think you've been Do there well. for all of them <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you about the time a, um, he, he was fucking chugging cough syrup <laughs> Like the 98 degree heat when we were with EOD the other day. Yeah. But did I ever tell you about the time uh, we were like on a patrol? We we're like sweeping the area. It was like, I don't know. It was that one three day op we were on. The one me and Bender were talking about. The Sierra Dick Pit? No, I don't, I don't remember. But uh, we, I was sweeping with Meryl, right? Yeah. And I was, I was kind of like point man with the sweeper. Meryl was kind of a little offset behind me. And they're like, oh, contact from the rear. Can you see? Can you see Tran? Oh, yeah. Like so, Meryl, our, yeah. our corporal's Say like, hey to my fans. "It's my boy Tran. You probably heard all about him." Or Wife. not. Today's video has been brought to you by <laughs> Thermo Flask. Today's uh, today's it's channel a, sponsor. It's a Hydro Flask. Waiting on that Thank sponsor. They're not gonna pay us now. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this microphone over here. Anyway, so the story about Meryl, right? We were sweepers. We took contact from the rear, and you know how um, the metal detectors have like a strap, a strap mm -hmm. right here, Go and across. then the bag, the bag that the sweeper, the thing comes in. Um, I was like, oh shit, contact rear. I think I took a knee, <clears throat> folded my shit up, and I didn't even put it in the back. I just like tucked it under my arm, whatever, something like that. Merrill dropped his, dropped his CMD, <laughs> dropped the CMD bag, took, like, he ran, like ran as fast as he could, took like five <laughs> steps away. So like, as I'm coming back, like I'm, go I'm running towards Merrill. Merrill had ran away already. His metal detector is on the ground, expensive piece of equipment. And then he's like looking at it like... He, he took off running, like, with, with like, instinctual, just like, oh, shit, contact rear, I'm out. Boom. And then he turns back, looks at his metal detector, and he's, like, literally, like, we're trans. The metal detectors were trans at. I'm Merrill. He's, like, uh, uh. He, like he, he does, like, two takes, bro. Like, like should I get it? No, my life. <laughs> he's, like, should I get it? No, my life is on the line. No. But it's important serialized. No. And he, and he takes off running, bro. And he takes off running into the tall grass to where he just takes three steps, and I hear, ah! <laughs> And he snaps his ankle the rest of the op, bro. He's he's out of it the rest of the op. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe it because cause I wouldn't. It was like, the whole thing took probably seven seconds. It was probably like seven. That would happen in seven seconds. He's like, contact rear. Dropped it. Ran. No. Ran. No. Fuck it. Ran into the woods. Snap. Ah. It was so funny. That's, that's one of my favorite Meryl stories. Good times. You can call him down. Put an uh, face to the name. Fucking uh, celeb moment or whatever. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Let's just keep building like each time. To, to my family, uh, I talk about Meryl more than I talk about like all my best friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. Meryl and Rainwater. Bro, my mom watches this vlog sometimes and she'll be like, how's uh, how's Mo? She's like, how's Mo? How's Gonzo? He's like, yeah, Gonzo. Uh, Mena, ya no sale. Like, Mena doesn't come on the vlogs anymore, huh? I'm like, yeah. I'm always like, yeah, we had a falling out and disagreement with whatever, but he just moved home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told your mom? Yeah. Like, terrible black lung cough for the past. Yeah. He actually went to the ER. Like, he was, what, what was the story? Watching the SWAT <laughs> tell that. We were, at, we, we were at Ryan's house. Oh, I already told you. That. Yeah, you told me. Yeah, I already told him. To, to tell it to them. Uh, so, we were at our other buddy Ryan's house. Ryan Ryan is um the one that Lenny called an idiot last time. Yeah. Good guy. 
Great guy. <laughs> Great guy. <laughs> Me, Ryan, and Meryl were all at Ryan's house. Okay. <laughs> I'll just tell it some other day. See you guys. Come on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, logistics, the logistics of the... So, me, Ryan, and Meryl were at Ryan's house, and we were watching Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've never seen it, so Ryan put it on. It wasn't a great episode. It was, like, pretty stupid. It was the pickle one. That was, that's the best episode. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Meryl's in the back, like... Not on the couch, but on the floor, leaning up against the couch, yeah, coughing his fucking lungs out. It's like, like you ever play Red Dead, like yeah, yeah, the ending of fucking Arthur Morgan, yeah, yeah, coughing yeah. his fucking lungs out. That. And like we're watching it, and he's like, he's crying because he's been coughing so bad. His voice is really raspy, and like, you can just tell he's in pain. And he's like, like Tyrannosaurus, do you think after this you could take me to the ER? <laughs> Trend. After the episode. After yeah, the episode. I'm like, like, no, Meryl, if, if you need to go to the ER, I'll take you right now. Yeah. It's a right now kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> just want to see if he goes back to human form. <laughs> to the pickle. Bro, fucking Meryl, man. I forgot he calls you Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Because his name's Tran. It's actually one of the more original ones. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Before I got here, there's all tranny, transgender. Oh, nice. oh is that boy got an A-pop on his back? He does. That's culture, boy. Definitely yeah. got the mullet going on. See that? <laughs> How's the young bull doing? He's good, man. 13 months. He's like, I just gave him a haircut yesterday, so he's like, looks pretty sharp. But he's like, um... When are you going to get him into, like, like fighting? <laughs> he started fighting in six months. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, I think I will, um... I think I'm just gonna take him around when I, whenever I go, so he kind of like sees, and if it's something he wants to like, you know what I mean? So he can just start like seeing what what it is, mm -hmm. like at least the boxing part. I was gonna go to the jujitsu spot over here, but my wife just like, nah, bro, COVID out here. Don't want to come on, like bringing that to the kid. Yeah, yeah, especially jujitsu because it's more like really hands on. At least for the boxing one, um, I think they limited the number of people inside for one session, so everybody had like a good <laughs> distance away from each other. But the jujitsu is like right, you know, it's like, yeah, you've rolled before, you know, right on top of each other. <clears throat> yeah, mullet, baby. Yeah, I just wanted to be one of those dudes with the mullet and like those Oakley glasses. Uh, yeah, that's typical, bro. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, man. So, you still doing fights like boxing and stuff? Um, I. I was I was training I was training boxing, and then my wife was like she shut that down too. She was like nah, COVID. And but this was in December, right? Let me tell you this story. When I was still in last year, I was training with the boxing team here. Uh, you were probably on on deployment because I don't think you were around mm -hmm. when all this was happening. So I was um I was still with part of the unit, and I was training with the boxing dudes out here in in Flores, Las Flores area, training with these boys, and then they're like. This other dude's promoter, he's like, yeah, we're going to fight in Cathedral City. We're going to fight in Cathedral City. Be ready for May 2nd. You're going to fight this firefighter named Nathan Kidd. That's where the name came from. Oh. Yeah, so that was actually somebody I was going to fight. You're going to fight this firefighter named Nathan Kidd. You're around the same size, whatever. I'm like, okay, COVID happened. No fights, right? So I'm like, oh, mm. fuck, no fights. I wasn't training anything, whatever. About three weeks ago, the dude texted me. He's like, hey, man, we're back on. We're gonna fight in October. We're gonna fight in October. Be ready. I didn't even text him back. I was like, bro, there's no way. I haven't I haven't even ran in Well, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> no, you got it, dude. Just send it. Yeah, just send what's, it. Bro. What's the weight class? You uh, gotta be in. Heavyweights. For heavyweights, it's any yeah, you're a heavyweight. It's not like <laughs> it's two ten, two 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 eight to two ten. <laughs> like nothing specific. It's just like heavyweights are just like up there. Yeah. And then um for the smaller weights, you have to be like within like a six six pound window, something like that. You know what I mean? mm. But for the heavyweight dudes, we're just gonna go out there and send it. Oh, bro, and I was gonna sign up. I was trying to sign up for open mics in uh, San Diego, just to do a little stand up comedy because I feel I mean I have a list of jokes that I've been working on. Yeah. And I just want to start start doing that and hopefully like just become like a regular there, and just start doing comedy. You should, dude. I Get to know, like, funny. bar owners and stuff and just yeah. spend spend nights there. Yeah, just like, because it's, it's not far. It's, like, in La Jolla, which is, like, a 40-minute, 30-minute drive. Mm -hmm. 
But it seems fun. It seems like something I might I want to do. You should, dude. Just get your name out there a little bit. Yeah. You'd be good at it. All the time in the field, this guy. If we were bored or, like, <laughs> we didn't know what to do, like, he can recite a movie, like, line by line. He knows, like, all the, like, characters, like, lines. And, and if you want to see that, check out my podcast right here. The the Dr. Devil Sh- Barbershop <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Try saying that five times fast. Yeah, or subscribe five times. <laughs> Always just like recite movies, tell good jokes, kept morale up in the field. It was good to just catch up with you. All right, Pope. It was good catching up with you, dog. I hope you enjoyed the tacos. Oh, yeah. It was good seeing you, man. You too, man. It was good laughing with you. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite part about food. It's laughing? The friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Share with your friends.